Hello, I'm Jordan Fudge and welcome to today's edition of Campus Views from SUNY CobleSkill. Our show is produced by students enrolled in the COM240 Studio Production course. Our guest today is Quevin Garcia and Scott Clashine, two CobleSkill students. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. For today's show, we are going to discuss the communications program and ways it can improve. First off, um, how would you describe the SUNY CobleSkill communications program as a whole? Um, I honestly can't get into it that much just because I'm not in the actual program. I'm a physical education major, but what I can say is that I'm in a, I'm in like two communications classes and like, um, I definitely think that it's come a long way since what it was, especially with the new teacher and like the new equipment. And I definitely think it's going to be, uh, like great in like the future. I think that, um, Compared to other schools, I did go to one school before this, and I think that I like this a lot better. I think it's a lot more hands-on. Um, I think that it's improving a lot. I think that they have professors here that care about, um, you know, the the actual material in the class a lot, which is uh, nice to see. And they're kind of learning along with you, which I also enjoy. So um, I think it's on the up and up. Um, in what ways do you believe makes the communications program more unique? Um, well, for me, I think it's just like the hands-on experience is so important. Um, I think a lot of times in other classes, you just sit there and you kind of learn about stuff based off of what you read on like a on a board and you take notes and stuff like that. But here, like we actually get to, you know, practice filming and editing and you know making our own TV studio production. And I, um, I don't really think that you get that anywhere else. So I think that the hands-on experience is really good. What else? It's all about like also the people and like the connections that you make. So like if the teacher is not working out for you, it's also like yeah. the class is just gonna suck in general. So I think that like the teachers and all that stuff is what makes the communications program like what it is. Um, any other opinions? Um, well, stay with us. We'll have more SUNY Cobble School campus views coming up after these messages. Hey, did you buy something from some gaming site? What do you mean? Yeah, look, there's a bunch of different charges on here. Do you think someone stole our credit card information? I don't know. That site sounds familiar, though. Yeah, isn't that the site that Billy's on all the time? <sighs> you don't think. Billy! Stop and think before you connect. Playing online is serious business. Visit dhs.gov slash stop, think, connect for tips on how to be safe online. Hello, I'm Jordan Fudge, and welcome back to today's edition of Campus Views from SUNY Cobleskill. Again, our guests today are Quevin Garcia and Scott Clashine, students enrolled at SUNY Cobleskill. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Pleasure. Um, before the break, we were discussing what makes, uh, what your guys' thoughts are about the SUNY Cobleskill communications program and what made it unique. Um, what are some ways that the communications program can improve? Um, I definitely, this one's like a hard really to answer just because it's not my major. I think that uh, a major way that it can improve, honestly, I think that it's improving, but I think that it just needs to make itself known more. I think that if um, people kind of uh, knew Cobble Skill for something else other than agriculture, then they would be more willing to come here and have these experiences that we're having. Um, so any other way that the Cobble Skill communications program can attract attention to itself, whether it's through social media or uh, online or um, you know, however they do it, I just think it's important for them to just continue growing because I think that, uh, you know, it's, you know, when you think Cobble Skill and you don't go here already, you kind of just think agriculture school. Um, and in your opinion, is it important for everyone to at least take one communications class or more? Um, honestly, like, I don't really think it's, like, that important just because, like, a lot of it's like, like, I don't think that if you're doing like turf management, I don't think you need a communications class just because it's not like, yeah. I think that if you're looking for an elective to do that's um, different, uh, something, I think that that's a, it's a good class to take or courses to take because um, like I said, you get a lot of hands-on experience and you're doing stuff that you don't usually get to do, so. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for today. We'd like to thank our guests, Quevin and Scott, 
and thank you for watching the show. For more information about the communications programs here at SUNY Cobleskill, visit www.cobleskill.edu today. Once again, I'm Jordan Fudge, and we'll see you on the next edition of SUNY, Co SUNY Cobleskill Campus Views.